Hey folks, Alan Manic, the Hot Rod Hippie here. Today's video, I got a special just for you. We got two product reviews in one video. We're taking a look at the Isotunes Pro 2.0 and free Bluetooth hearing protection. Let's check it out. So as I said, we are reviewing two products in this one video. We have the Pro 2.0 and the free Bluetooth hearing protection from the folks at Isotunes. Isotunes did provide both of these products for me to review. This is not in any way sponsored, paid, or anything like that. This is truly my opinion, but these were provided for me for review, so I want to be honest about that. I'm reviewing both of these in this same video because I didn't want to stagger review videos. It covered a lot of the same information between these two products, a lot of similarities here, and it just didn't make sense to split this up into two videos. Now, I did review the Isotunes Extra Bluetooth hearing protection protection in November of 2018. You can check out that video up here. I've been using these daily since then, so I have a little bit more information to use in this video than I did when I reviewed the extras back then. Now, as with all my product review videos, I'm going to tell you the specifications of these. I'm going to show you these things in operation a little bit, and then I'm going to tell you what I really think of them from actually using them. Let's list off the specifications of the Pro 2.0 first. These things use the Bluetooth 5.0 protocol. They have a 16-hour rated battery life. They have a comfort ear hook design that goes up and over top of your ear. It comes with their own little carry case, as well as four of what they call the Trilogy Tips. These are basically earplugs that have a hole in the center of them that allow the sound from the Bluetooth headset to pass through. These are OSHA and NIOSH compliant. The Pro 2.0s have a 27 dB NRR noise reduction rating, meaning they will dock down ambient noise by 27 decibels. These are IP67 rated, meaning they are dust, sweat, and waterproof to 1.5 meters deep. These also feature a safe max 85 decibel noise level limit. The idea there is you don't want to put in hearing protection only to then blow your eardrums out with really loud sound from your headset. The Pro 2.0s also feature a metal stem that the actual earplugs twist onto. They use a micro USB type B charge cable and they do come with one, but they don't come with a charger itself. The Pro 2.0s also come with silicone tips that you can put on there, one pair of them. You put them on and those will be good for going to the gym, riding a bicycle, taking a walk. Now the one side of the headset has a three button control pad on it. You can use that to answer phone calls, pause your music or your book you're listening to, turn off the volume, turn it down, skip to the next song or skip back to the one before that. And you can use that to control various functions of your Bluetooth device from separated away from it. They also have a microphone built in, so you can continue to have them in your ears, protecting your hearing, and take a voice call as well. Now, the Pro 2.0s are available in either an orange and black version or a matte black version. They're on Isotunes website for $99.99 with free shipping. Now, how about the Isotunes Free? This also uses Bluetooth 5.0. These are IP45 rated, meaning they are dust, sweat, and water resistant. Not proof, resistant. The big thing about the Freeze is they are truly wireless. There's no wire attaching the two units together. The Freeze also have this handy little charging case. You stick the earbuds into here and they recharge inside of this case because the case has a battery inside of itself and it can be plugged into the wall to charge up not only the battery in the case but the buds themselves. The earbuds will recharge in one and a half hours from fully dead inside of the charge case and the charge case itself will recharge from fully dead in two hours. There are magnets inside of here so these things kind of just fall right into place when you put them in here which is a pretty nice thing. You can close it up, stick in your pocket and go back to what you're doing when you're not using them. Now the earbuds themselves feature only a seven hour runtime but the charge case supposedly adds an additional 14 hours of runtime. Now the freeze are 22 decibel and are our noise reduction rated, meaning they only cut down 22 decibels of ambient sound around you. Now the way you control the freeze is you actually have two different buttons on these. Each one of them has its own button. Where the Isotunes logo in the black section is on these is actually a button on each of them that has a nice tactile click to it. The freeze come with three sizes of the Trilogy ear tips, but they use a different size ear tip than the Pro 2.0s and the extras. They're a short shorter tip so that the earbuds actually sit a little deeper into your ear and not protrude from your head so much. The Freeze also do come with three sets of silicone tips for when you're using these outside of needing hearing protection. Now the Free Charge Case charges with a USB Type-C cable, much like my Google Pixel phone. A lot of things are going to the Type-C cable. It's the oval shaped one. It is reversible so you can flip it and plug it in either way. I really like USB Type-C and I'm happy to see that on this case. The Freeze are available in this green and black version or a matte black version and they are $109.99 with free shipping on the Isotunes website. The Pro 2.0s and the free both come with a one-year warranty and a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, contact them and they'll give you your money back. This is where I can bring in my information from the extras, a little additional from the review of these. I picked them up in November of 2018. I did a review for you folks. Over a year now, I've been using the extras, but I did have one pair of them die on me. I emailed the folks at Isotunes. In less than a day, they got back to me, got my shipping information, sent me out a brand new pair of the Isotunes 
extras and just asked that I send the old pair back so they could confirm the failure and just see if there's anything they could do to improve the product. One specification I didn't list for either of these is actually the working distance on them. The folks at Isotunes only say 30 feet on these away from your cell phone, your laptop, whatever it is that's supplying sound, but I found that to be a little bit of an underrating. Let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and do a range test. This is me putting my phone on top of my car and walking directly away from it. In a straight line, no obstructions, I made it about 130 feet before I started to get a little crackle and break up. I then walked about double that distance and still didn't lose connection. Here's where I would normally leave my cell phone on one of my toolboxes. I'm walking over to my other toolbox is about 30, 40 feet away through an insulated steel wall. I did not lose connection on the Pro 2.0s or the Freeze. Previously with the Isotune Extras, right around here at this wall, I would have lost connection. Now, obviously I can't show you a whole heck of a lot of using these because, well, I could just do my job and that's me using them. But what I can say is they are a loud look. If you get the actually colored ones, there's quite a bit of a bright color look going on here. So some people might think you look silly with them in, whether it be the bright orange of the Pro 2.0s or the bright lime green kind of color of the Freeze. There's a lot going on there. I don't care. These are meant to be hearing protection. You're used to having safety visibility colors. Personally, I really like the bright colors because it's a lot more difficult to lose them in my shop. I basically never have to go searching for these things because it's pretty clear where they are. What is it that I think of these in actually using them? Let's start off with what I like about these. The freeze, the battery life on these is excellent when you use them in conjunction with the charge case. As I said before, the earbuds themselves only have a seven hour runtime. Okay, that's not that great. I work a 10 hour workday, I'm going to use up that battery life no problem. The thing is this charging case charges rather quickly and really works well. What I found myself doing is when I would go on my 10, 15 minute break in the morning, I would drop them into the charge case and let them charge up a little bit during that time. Then when I went on my half hour, 45 minute lunch, I would again drop them in later at that point. At the end of the work day, after a 10 hour day, I drop them into the charge case, go home and don't even plug in the charge case, just let them go. I also decided to use these on the work drive into work and the drive home from work, which is an hour and 20 minutes one way. So I really wanted to keep maximizing the use of these and see how long this would run. I got two and a half days out of these things. They were rated at like a 21 hour runtime with the charge case and the earbuds themselves. I was closer to, I think, 24 hours on these. I was thoroughly impressed with that. And I should absolutely mention, this is not standby time. I am using these things continually. I cannot stand to have hearing protection in and then hear the ringing in my ears. It kind of amplifies the sound when I cut down the background noise. So it's kind of awful for me. I'm always listening to music, podcasts, or mostly audiobooks on Audible and Scribd. Now, as far as the pre's being a 22 decibel noise reduction rating and a 27 note NRR on the Pro 2.0s, I really just did not find much of a difference between the two of these personally. However, there is a difference between the two of these that I did note. As I said before, both of these have that safe max 85 decibel rating that they're not supposed to go above to protect your hearing. But I did find that the Pro 2.0s got noticeably louder than the Freeze did. I don't know if one of them is getting too loud past the safe max or one of them's a little bit quiet. I could not say, but I definitely found when I was using the freeze, I had the volume on my phone almost maxed out. Pro 2.0s, I was more like three quarter volume on my phone. I found the Pro 2.0s not only got that little bit louder, but I liked the sound output of these a little bit better. They had a little bit better bass response for when I'm listening to music, not by a lot. I didn't really notice a difference. I had to jump back and forth between the two of these, like immediately take out the one, put in the other and switch to it to really tell the difference. But there is definitely a little bit of a difference there. And I did prefer the sound of the Pro 2.0s. Now the Pro 2.0s are rated for a 16 hour battery life. And I did find that to be pretty darn accurate. I use these for two solid work days, both driving to and from work and actually using them at work. The second day I wasn't able to use them on the drive home. They had died by that point, but that's still probably a little bit above what they're rated at. As far as Bluetooth pairing was concerned on both of these, it was pretty darn easy. On the actual Pro 2.0s, you just turn them on by holding down the center button for a second. You'll hear a little sound saying that they are turned on. Go into your settings on your phone or whatever device, look for it and pair the Pro 2.0 headset. On the freeze, all you gotta do is pull them out. As soon as you pull them out of a charge case, they actually turn on. You can manually turn them off and on, but I did not find a need to do that. I would pull them out of the case, put them in my ear, 
that turns them on, pair them in the phone, and you're ready to go. From then on, every time I wanted to use the freeze, all I had to do was take them out of the case, put them in my ears. If I was done using them, I took them out of my ears, put them in the case. As soon as I did that, they turned off and started charging. I really like that functionality of the freeze. Now is the time for the cons, the things I didn't necessarily like about these. Let's start off with the Pro 2.0s. Almost everything else I don't like about the Pro 2.0s comes down to this little right side control box. This thing, the three buttons on here to control the thing, they work well, but they are very, very shallow throw, meaning you barely tell that you clicked them when you click them. I wish it had a little bit more of a tactile click to the button so I could really tell what I was doing. The other problem with the right side control box is that now everything about the headset is weighted to the right side. Whenever I would take them out of my ears to talk to my coworkers or to a customer and I walk around the shop like that, I found that these things were slowly creeping to the right and they would fall that direction. I never had them fall off of my neck, but they definitely were heading that direction and I didn't like that. And the wire is just a little shorter than I might like. When I wrap them around my head and go to my ears, I feel like it should just be a little bit longer. If I had a much larger head, I might feel like it's a little too short. And also because of the shorter length of the wire, the actual control box kind of falls almost behind my ear on my neck. I wish it was a little farther forward. On the extras, it's much easier for me to find with my hand than it is on the Pro 2.0s. All right, now let's talk about what I didn't like about the freeze. The first thing that I noticed about the freeze that bothered me was the actual button. It has a nice tactile click to it, which is nice. You know you've clicked the button once you press it. The problem is because these things are in your ear and only in your ear, that button means when you push it, you push the whole thing into your ear. That is not a comfortable feeling. So I found myself using my phone to control the volume and pause and the other functions rather than using the buttons on the actual free themselves. I did come up with a way to push the buttons that didn't bother me where I stuck my two fingers to the sides of the earbud, held onto it that way and used my thumb to push it but it's an awkward hand gesture and it might not work out for everybody. Now, the other thing that I didn't like about the freeze is it actually caused quite a bit of discomfort in my ear canal. I can't say this is a problem you're gonna have because everybody's ears are gonna be different. For me, I use the medium tips on these just as I do with the extras in the Pro 2.0s, but they really created this discomfort and it seems like it might be due to the shorter tip. It might go into my ear canal differently. I can't say for sure, but after a day and a half, it was quite a bit of discomfort. And please do remember that 30 day money back guarantee. If you find like me, the freeze are bothering your ear canal or maybe the Pro 2.0s are, you can send them back and get your money back. Last thing I should mention about the free is I said that they have a lower sound output level than the Pro 2.0, but it wasn't too low. I found that my phone wasn't turned all the way up when I was using these and it was where I wanted it to be. I ended up turning the Pro 2.0 down to get it to match the free and the sound level that I wanted but it did become a problem for me when I used the silicone tips on the free. When you're using the silicone tips on the free, the sound quality feels like it drops off quite a bit and they just don't get loud enough to overcome the sound around you. If you were trying to use these going to the gym or riding a bicycle, the wind rushing by or the sound of the equipment in the gym just wouldn't work out for you with free. The Pro 2.0s, the sound quality does dip a little bit, but the noise level, the sound output level of them can get overcome the sound around you. So I could see using the silicone tips with those. All right, it's recommendation time. If you're working in a noisy situation, a factory floor, a job site, or a shop with multiple people making noise all the time, I would say the Pro 2.0 is your way to go. You're gonna have better sound isolation. You're gonna get a little bit louder. These are what I would recommend for a more professional noisy situation. The freeze, however, I, they really did impress me more than I thought they were going to. For me, working in the shop where I work, I'm the only one who's working in that area. I'm isolated from everybody else, so I only have to listen to the noise that I make. These are probably better for a DIY, home garage kind of person, lawnmower situation. The freeze work pretty darn well, and I was pretty impressed with them. All that said, personally, I want to use the freeze more. I just like these things, I do, and I did not expect that all. The Pro 2.0s are a great product and I will continue to use them as they don't bother my ears as much and they still do an excellent job. But I just like the freeze. At the end of the day, despite the fact that I feel like I had more serious negatives about the freeze, I like them. If they're going to continue to hurt my ear canal that much, I'm not going to be able to use them as much as I would want to. But on long plane flights, going to SEMA or something like that, these are going to be pretty nice to just have that little charge case, the USB-C that charges my cell phone I can use on these. I'm liking these things and I'm going to continue using them. I should note that the extras are still a great product and that if you're not worried about the waterproof nature of the Pro 2.0s and you want to save a little bit of money versus the freeze, these might still be a pretty good option for you at $79.99.
All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this video. There's a link in the description down below to the Isotunes website. That is an affiliate link. So if you use that, I do get a little kickback from that. It does not cost you anything more. It's like the Amazon links that I usually put in my video descriptions, which are also affiliate links. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please go ahead and drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this Bluetooth hearing protection? Check out the Patreon account, patreon.com slash hotrodhippie that directly supports this channel so I can bring you the content you want to see. Subscribe to keep up to date with all the content every week. Thanks for coming around folks.